Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia Smith of Journey Chanel Designs and today we will be making the ethereal top. This is a four in one design. You can choose between the shrug that is shown here. You can choose between the form fitted pullover, an oversized pullover, or a beach top. I will be giving directions for a size large, but you can purchase the pattern and follow along for sizes extra, extra small all the way to 7XL, and it even offers child sizes 12 months all the way up to 10 to 12 youth. To make this pattern, you will make two identical panels that will be the width of wrist to wrist. You will connect them and then add on to the bottom part to create the body if you are making a pullover version. For your supplies, you will need any three DK weight yarn. I am using custom gradient yarn from Kirk's by K. You will also need a size I 5.5 millimeter hook. This is my Furls Metal Streamline Blush Hook. You will need a pair of scissors, a measuring tape, stitch markers, and a tapestry needle is optional. Let's get started. To start, you will make a slip knot. And now you will chain 218 for size large. Again, please follow along with the written pattern for any of the other sizes. When you're done, this is what it should look like. And now you're going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook. Single crochet in the next chain. Single crochet in the next chain. single crochet in the next chain and you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your last chain when you're done you should have 217 single crochet stitches for size large now you're going to chain two and turn your work you're going to start by making a double crochet three together so yarn over and insert your hook into the first stitch yarn over pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through two loops, leaving two loops on your hook. Yarn over again, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull back and up through a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops, having three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops having four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all the loops to close. And that is your double crochet three together. Now you're going to make a double crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. Now you're going to make five double crochet in the next stitch, creating a shell stitch. One, two, three, Four, and five in the same stitch. As you can see, it creates a shell. Now you're going to make a double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two,
and 3. This is what it'll look like so far. Now we're going to skip the next two stitches and make a puff stitch. So you're going to yarn over your hook, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the all but the last loop, yarn over, pull through the remaining loops. And you have created your first section of the chevron and puff stitch. Now skip two stitches and make a double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. A total of three double crochets. Now you're going to make five double crochets in the next stitch to create your shell stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five. Double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now you're gonna skip two stitches and make a puff stitch in the next stitch. So you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over your hook, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all but the last loop, yarn over, pull through the remaining loops. And now you have finished the chevron repeat pattern. Now from the skip two to the puff stitch, you're gonna repeat all the way across until you have 10 stitches left. Once you have 10 stitches left, you're going to skip the next two stitches, double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now you're going to make five double crochet in the next stitch to create your shell. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you're going to double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now in the next three stitches, we're going to make a double crochet three together, just like at the beginning. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, leaving two loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, leaving three loops on your hook, Yarn over, insert your hook into the last stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops with four loops on your hook. 
yarn over, pull through all of the loops. You should have a total of 18 shells and 17 puffs for size large. And this is what it should look like when you're done with the second row. Now you're going to chain two and turn your work. Now you're going to repeat the double crochet three together in the same stitch in the next two stitches. Double crochet in the next three stitches. One. Two. And three. Now you're gonna make your shell stitch in your next stitch, which is five double crochets in the same stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Double crochet in the next three stitches. One. Two, and three. Now you're going to skip two stitches and you're going to make a puff stitch on top of the next puff stitch. Make sure to go directly above the puff stitch so the puffs are completely lined up with each other. Now the pattern is starting to take shape. You can see what it will look like. Now we're going to repeat again. So you're going to skip two, double crochet in the next three stitches. One. Two. And three. Now make a shell stitch in the next stitch. Five double crochets in the same stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Now double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Skip two stitches, puff stitch in the next stitch, and make sure to go in the loop directly above the puff stitch. Now you're going to repeat from the skip two all the way to the puff stitch and you're going to repeat that all the way across ending in the last puff stitch. Once you have finished in the last puff stitch you're going to skip two stitches and make a double crochet in the next three stitches. One. Two. Three. And now you're going to make a shell stitch in the next stitch, which is five double crochets in the same stitch. One, two, three, four. 
four and five. Now you're going to make a double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now you're going to make a double crochet three together in the last three stitches. To make the edging a little bit cleaner, you can skip the last stitch and work into the beginning chain to give it a more straighter edge. When you're done, you should have a total of 18 shells and 17 puff stitches for size large. Now you're going to chain two and turn your work. For a shrug and a form fitted top, you're going to repeat row three nine more times for a total of 11 rows or seven inches in length for size large. For an oversized top, you're going to repeat row three 12 more times for a total of 14 rows or nine inches in length. And for a beach top, you're going to repeat row three 34 more times for a total of 37 rows or 26 inches in length for size large or until you reach your desired length. Once you're done, you're gonna finish off and weave in your ends, and this is what it'll look like when you are done. Now you're going to repeat the same steps for the second panel and finish off and weave in your ends. Once you're done with both panels, it will look like this. Now we're going to seam the shoulders together. You're going to find your center stitch and work towards the outer edge. Now for a boat neck for size large, you're going to find your middle stitch and measure five and a half inches and place a stitch marker. Repeat the same steps for the other side. For an off the shoulder look, you're going to go from the middle stitch and measure eight and a half inches and place a stitch marker and you're going to repeat this for the other side. Now you're going to sew from your stitch marker to your outer edge only and have the neck area open. You will be working in your foundation stitches or your row one that you first created. So you're going to attach your yarn to the farthest stitch on both panels. Make sure they're facing the same direction. You can single crochet, slip stitch, or sew your panels together. I will be showing you how to single crochet. Now chain one and single crochet through both the front and back loops on both panels. Single crochet through both loops of the next stitch on both panels. Single crochet through both loops on both panels in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch on both loops on both panels. Now you're going to repeat all the way across until you reach your first stitch marker. Once you have reached your stitch marker, you're going to finish off and weave in your ends. And now you're going to repeat for the other side. Attach your yarn to the outer edge and work towards your second stitch marker. Finish off and weave in your ends when you're finished. And this is what it should look like when you are done. For a shrug and form fitted top, you're going to measure from the middle stitch all the way to the outside. 10 and a half inches for size large. Place a stitch marker in the last stitch counted and then repeat on the other side. For an oversized top and a beach top, you're gonna measure from the center stitch to the outer edge 12.25 inches for size large and place a stitch marker in the last stitches counted and repeat on the other side. 
So again, you can single crochet, slip stitch, or sew the panels together. I will be showing you how to single crochet. So you're going to attach your yarn to the farthest stitches to the right or to the left if you're left-handed. Insert your hook into the last stitch on both front and back panels. You're going to chain one and single crochet into the same stitches on both panels. Single crochet in the next stitch on both panels. Single crochet in the next stitch on both panels. Single crochet in the next stitch on both panels. And you're going to repeat all the way across, ending in your next stitch marker, your closest stitch marker. You're going to finish off and weave in your ends. And this is what it'll look like when you are done. And now you're going to repeat for the other side, attaching your yarn at the unworked edge and working all the way across to your next stitch marker. Once you're done, you're going to finish off and weave in your ends. This is what it'll look like when it is finished. For a shrug, you can finish off and weave in your ends along with the beach top. If you want a little bit more length for the shrug, you can follow the form-fitted pullover rows for the next part, or you can leave it as is. For the body, we will be attaching our yarn to our last row worked. You will attach your yarn either to a puff stitch or a shell stitch, depending on where your measurements landed, and you will work all the way around in a round. So for a size large form fitted, you will be attaching your yarn to a puff stitch. And for an oversize, you will be attaching your yarn to the middle of a shell stitch. But for this example, we will be showing the form fitted version. So you're going to attach your yarn at the seam where the two panels meet. And like I said, it should be at a puff stitch. So you're going to chain two, which does not count as a stitch. And you're going to puff stitch in the puff stitch directly below. You're going to continue the regular pattern. You're going to skip two stitches and make a double crochet in the next three stitches. One. Two. And three. Now you're going to make a shell stitch in the next stitch, which is five double crochets in the same stitch. So one. two, three, four, and five. Now you're going to double crochet in the next three stitches. You're going to skip the next two stitches and make a puff stitch in top, on top of the next puff stitch. Now you're going to repeat the regular pattern all the way across, ending at the next seam, which would be at a puff stitch. Once you have reached that, you're going to skip the last two stitches and make a puff stitch in your seam, which would also be in the top of the next puff stitch. And now you're going to repeat the pattern. You're going to skip two stitches and make a double crochet in the next three stitches. One. two, and three. Now you're going to make a shell stitch in the next stitch, which is five double crochets in the same stitch. 
one, two, three, four, and five. Now you're going to double crochet in the next three stitches. Skip two stitches and make a puff stitch directly into the next puff stitch. And now you're going to repeat the regular pattern from the skip two to the puff stitch all the way around, ending just before the last puff stitch. Once you have finished with the last few stitches, you're going to skip the last two stitches and slip stitch to your first puff stitch. You should have a total of 12 shells and 12 puff stitches for the form fitted top and if you choose to do the shrug. You should have 14 shells and 14 puff stitches for an oversized top for a size large. Now you're going to chain two and turn your work. Now you're going to make a puff stitch directly into the puff stitch below. You're going to skip two stitches and make a double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now you're going to make five double crochets in the next stitch or a shell stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Skip two stitches and make a puff stitch directly into the next puff stitch. And now you're going to repeat the pattern all the way around, ending two stitches before your last stitch. Once you have finished with your last stitch, you're going to skip the last two stitches, slip stitch to your puff stitch, and that will complete this round. For a shrug or form fitted top, you should have 12 shells and 12 puff stitches for size large. For an oversized top, you should have 14 shells and 14 puffs for a size large. Now you're going to chain two, turn your work. Now for a shrug, which is completely optional, you can repeat round two four more times for a total of six rows or four and a half inches in length for size large. Again, for a shrug, you do not have to do this. For a form fitted top and oversized top, you're gonna repeat round two 19 more times for a total of 21 rows. That will be 24 inches for a fitted top and 26 inches for an oversized top for a size large. Once you're done, you're going to finish off weaving your ends, and this is what it'll look like when you're finished. You have now finished the ethereal top in size large. For form fitted or shrug, you should have negative two to four inches of ease and seven to nine inches of positive ease for the oversized and beach top fit. Depending on your size, please see the pattern to determine the best size for you. 
thanks so much for watching this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos for you have a good day